All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, and I'm just being myself and being brutally honest um, that I, I'm, you know, I'm so honoured to be here and doing this, um, but I'm going to mess a couple of things up just by nature of uh, who I am. Um, but I pray that you stick with us and that you have patience and grace and we get through this and it will be great. I'm looking forward to We've got so much more coming up. Um, right now, though, I believe that we are going to cross to the amazing Nancy Bates. Um, hey, Nancy. How you going, Mark? Good. How are you doing? Uh, it's Friday. It's a good day. And uh, it's even better. I think that maybe we should just be like painting bikinis because it's a bikini kind of day. <laughs> hey, look, Ice Cube said today is a good day. Do you know what I mean? So, and Ice Cube's my mentor. Not really. I um... <laughs> I think he's a lot of people's mentor and, and for good reason. <laughs> well, right. I'm a 90s kid. Um, hey, Nancy, so you're the ambassador for Mental Health Week Uh this year, so thank you for that. We we performed together at last year's the best meds. Um, can you can you tell us a little bit about yourself to the to the, the viewing community? Oh, what do you want to know about me? I guess. Well, um, where, okay, tell us where you're from. Where where well, I, guess, I guess the biggest thing is you know um, you yeah, talk about sort of you know mixed race or mixed identity or intersectionality, whatever you want to call it, big words, but. Essentially, um, my Aboriginal heritage is really important to me and that comes from my dad and he uh, so I identify as a Barkindra woman from far west New South Wales. Our mob is the length of the Darling River and uh, Mindy Lakes area and Mordawindja National Park is my grandmother's country. So, But I've been in, on Ghana country for 20 years and came here to get my life sorted with my daughter. I was in a um, really, really violent relationship and... So Adelaide, Ghana country for me has been so healing and a place of nurturing and a place where I've been able to build my life up into a, to, to a place where it's, I just couldn't really imagine the things that I'm doing now that I'd be doing those things 20 years ago. Um, so I really do encourage that we keep supporting um, women primarily and men, uh, all people, to, to have healthier relationships with each other so that... Um, so our kids are better off for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and 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 that's what like I, I saw a post today on the thing where it, someone wrote a thing like I said, protect your daughter, and then underneath someone just scripted it out as right, no, educate your son, which is the core of it, isn't it? like no, don't no one should have to be protected. Like we should all have to be able to live in this world without feeling like we need to, you know, you know, defend ourselves or. You know, like educate people, like teach people, um, and I, yeah. So, and I love you. We've worked together a few times, uh, I think. And I saw you, my first ever comedy show. You were at, you know <laughs> yes. that, yes. So, no, but even my, so I took my wife out to um, see. Oh, what? Well, you did it. Um, Josh Warrior was dancing. Um, yes. Kevin Capinari was um, the host. Uh, Nunga funny. Nunga uh, funny. Back in the day. Uh, yeah. And were you dressed up as an auntie? Yes. Yeah, so I had an uh, alter ego. Well, I still do <laughs> have her. Auntie Elsie, based That's... on my my dad's sisters, but but also she has a sister, yeah. uh, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Betsy, who is Tanya Guerrera. Um, That's all right. <laughs> so, yeah, we I was actually, yeah, we, we had a lot of fun. And then I did, like, I think I did work four seasons on – like associate as an associate producer or deadly funny for Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Yeah. Um, and sort of took a back seat on writing. But I want to get back into comedy and doing the show the other night with you guys was just like the best thing <laughs> ever. Well, and that because I, I remember that. So because my like I said my wife is uh my wife's uh a Nanjari Ghana uh, Ghana woman and yeah, and Narak yeah. So when you were pulling stuff out of your bra, she cracked up. She was like, Oh my god. <laughs> That's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Hey, listen, oh, just yep. quickly before we get started, um, so you toured with Archie Roach. That is correct. I guess that's a kind of alluding to the, you know, seeing where my life has gone and the direction that it's headed in, getting picked up by Archie Roach at a gig was like, you know, a dream come true. And then four years on the road with him 
and then coming back to South Australia and, you know, really flying under my own steam now and it's it's working and a lot of that is attributed to my time with him, honing my craft, learning what it's like to be on big stages and small stages but really learning about impacts of music and impact of song and authenticity in your storytelling. Um, that's the biggest thing I got from uncle and, yeah, he's not been well. I'm thinking about him every second of the day at the moment. Um, so, yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey and it's something I'll have for, for my whole life. Yeah, yeah, and, and such a trailblazer as well. You know what I mean? He was such a trailblazer. And then... Well, it's just taken out, uh, you know, he's just gone and been inducted into the ARIA Hall of yeah. Fame. He's looked out Best Contemporary Male Artist, uh, Best Album. The whole, like, he's just like... Yeah. He's still kicking mass and he, he needs to be recognised absolutely for what he has contributed. We all love him so much and the fact that I even got to do more than one, like one show, but then four years <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Australia and the world is just like, yeah. you know, stuff dreams are made of. And it's a credit to you as well. So uh, what are you going to play for us today? I thought I would start with my first, the song I first wrote on a ukulele. So I just, I got gig money. I went down to the guitar store and I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind a nice you didn't know how to play it. So then I sat there and worked it out. So nice. I today, today I want to sing some love songs because I'm, yeah, I just started seeing someone. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, show, you know, sing away. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but, oh, now I can see myself. Wonderful. Here we go. All right. I'll do my best not to look at the time lapse between what I'm seeing and what I'm singing. This one's called Loving You Tonight, and I'd like to dedicate this to Fee, the original ukulele girl. Hey, when I look at you, I'm overcome. And I just can't believe that you're the one For everything I've done wrong, I must have done things right For you are here loving me tonight Tonight Something about your smile opened up my heart, makes my life worthwhile, let nothing tear us apart, take my blues away, so let's not fuss or fight, for you are here loving me tonight, tonight. So 
Lord, you are here loving me tonight. Sing along tonight. tonight hey, that's amazing Nancy that was uh, hey, you got another song for us no that's it no of course I've got another song for you oh it's amazing like oh hey, we did that festival uh, no not festival uh, I reckon the first time I ever met you was at uh, probably NADOC week in Gawler. It was. Yeah, that's it right. Was. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Yeah, you were, I got someone sent me a photo of that gig, like, and that gig was like five, what, seven years ago now. They sent me a photo, like, last week of it. Oh, really? Of that, gig, of that very gig. Would you believe it? Wow, that's amazing. So I've got another song for you. It's, yeah. Uh, um, so we're talking about. I guess at this point in time, I've been having conversations around sort of what does, you know, the place of music and the place of the arts and culture in society in, you know, at the moment we, we've got governments who've like basically defunded the arts sector and renamed yeah. and repackaged, but we are still doing and creating things as we need to as, as artists, I suppose. Um, and for me at the moment, I guess I've abandoned hope for comfort. Comfort is something that I, I, I really I really value, particularly, um, you know, we're talking about being a, a mental health week ambassador, but, you know, that that's followed a, a pretty recent diagnosis of bipolar. So I find myself kind of wrestling the bear to try and find leverage or find, you know, points in which give me where I can feel comfortable and Places where I can, I don't know, bounce back from. And music is one of those places um, often. But I think that we need to be like this whole, let's let's go ahead anyway, let's keep creating, let's keep doing comedy and music and visual art and writing poetry and singing songs and let's keep being creative despite the fact that we've got a government who does not support that uh, and in a Australian society who are not really that behind us um, as much as they need to be. So we need to grow support for the art sector as well. So, But this next song, I guess, um, gave me a lot of comfort when I wrote it because I was thinking about I'd spent like I was doing uh, some duo work with uh, Lara Briggs-Patterson, who's a Yorta Yorta woman. She's a young environmental activist, and so she brought me up to speed on where we were at, really, and I, then I was, like, rocking in a corner for three weeks. <laughs> so I thought, thought I'd better do something about it. Um, and, and so I've got a, a bit of a sort of five-year plan, five-year plan. Plans are terrible. Never make a five-year plan. But a bit of a plan to um, build myself a tiny house and live, get off the grid and just try to get back to nature as much as possible, try to get back to the fire. That's that's where I feel like my heart needs to go, and I think a lot of us are feeling like that. So I wrote an aspirational song called Jack and Jill about Jack and Jill who basically build a house on a hill and they get off the grid and they just completely go, you know what, we don't need to keep living this way. We can do it very differently. Would you like to hear mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I'd love to hear it. I'm looking, oh, yes. Also, you know, obviously a reference to the poem too, but I think I can get away with copyright there. It's been more than 100 years since it was written. Anyhow, Jack and Jill, um, in G. Jack and Jill, they don't have much. No fancy cars, so they catch the bus. Build a little house on a little hill Live off the grid, they don't pay no bills 
Grow little food with their own hands Don't have agendas or big plans Life is hard, but they are free Lately I've been wishing That Jack and Jill was you and me Said they were crazy when they quit their job. They said we can't keep living life by the clock. But it's time to fall free. Yeah. It goes so fast, one day we will all be dead. They said that we just want to be. Lately, I've been wishing. Jack and Jill, it was you and me. I'd like to try to break free. Sustain a life away from the noise and the choice of the city. Turn off the TV and just go outside. Sit down and watch the clouds or imagine away at the night sky. Oh, oh. Your light is out. Jack and Jill, they make love and fun. Every night they go to sleep with a setting sun. They plant their seeds according to the moon. And they live life on life. And oh, yes, they do. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Nancy. That was that was fantastic. I love I love that song. I love I hope I hope that puts some bounce in your mullet, Mark. Oh look, it's the all tied up in the into mullet? A, a man oh, bun today, but, no, but I was wanting the whole Oh look, theory. we can we can make it flow. There's a flow, oh. Oh, flow, 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 flick it, flick it, flick it. Flick it. Oh. Flick it, oh. flick it. Look, I, I just had to tell the fire department to go away because <laughs> you said put the light around and set the fire alarm off, and then, ah, it's it's all happening here. Well, thank you so much for that. That was um, amazing as always, right? But thank you for telling us a little bit about yourself as well and about that. That song really resonated with me as well because um, that's the perfect life, isn't it? Being off the grid, um, getting away from all social media, and just being able to you know be free i guess from the constraints of what you know we're expected to do i guess um yeah but freedom is so a much. freedom is a funny word and it's a it's a kind of difficult thing to obtain and then to enjoy once you have it so we have some freedoms and then we have things we have a lot of stuff that we don't have any freedom around and that needs to change as well you know so but um, it's just been wonderful to come on here. I think this is, I just want to say it's fantastic that the festival's gone ahead. You know, obviously the second COVID stuff has just knocked everybody over, including myself. And it's just wonderful to come on and share some music and see people being creative through the day, sharing our hearts and our minds. That's what really floats my boat. Yeah, and thank you. And and just before, before we let go, where... Where can people find you on, even though we talk about social media, like where, where can people find you on social media? Yeah, like I'm everywhere. Nancy Bates, Nancy Bates Music. Like it's, so I've got a fan page. I've got an Instagram page. I do have Twitter that I never tweet only because uh, Donald Trump put me off of Twitter for life. <laughs> um, 
But you can find me um, everywhere. I also do pole dancing on Saturday nights in Hindley Street. At, I'm joking. <laughs> well, one as day. Long, as long as you don't take my pole. I'll, I've got one down there as well. So I'll shine it up for you, okay? <laughs> I want to thank you, Nancy, for, for joining us today. Um, and thank you for being a trailblazer and carrying on that torch that, that you learned about um, with Uncle Archie Roach and, and being a trailblazer for for young people as well. Um, so thank you so much for carrying on that good work. We've got to do what we can for our young ones. Next generation. Exactly. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for you and your mullet. I love it. <laughs> thank, thank you. Even though I didn't win the contest, thank you very much. <laughs> we'll have to have another one. <laughs>